say, I say, I say, today we're making a rainbow cake. This cake kind of blows my mind and I don't even know if I like it. <laughs> Parts of me thinks that it's fabulous, so let me show you how to make this, baby. Now to create this rainbow cake, the first thing we're gonna work with is some cardboard. Now each piece of cardboard is about 18 inches long and about five inches wide. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend four inches on one side and four inches on the other side. Then I'm gonna Vanna White this again because we need a mug. I'm gonna take my piece of cardboard and I'm just going to fold it around the mug. This is gonna be the bend at the bottom of our rainbow. I'm gonna take a glue gun and I'm just going to glue the two sides together to create a D. We all know how I like the D. I really wanna reinforce this piece of cardboard so I'm going to take the second piece of cardboard and do the exact same thing and bend it around the mug. Then I'm gonna take my glue gun and glue it to our D. Just cut off the excess with a pair of scissors. Now this is gonna to touch our cake so I'm gonna cover the entire thing with tin foil. I'm just using a hot glue gun to make sure that it all sticks. And boom, a D is complete. That's a beautiful D, nice and thick. Now I want the inside of this rainbow to be as colorful as the outside. So I took all of my cake batter and just started dyeing it seven different colors, starting with the red. Just mixing it in with my spatula until the color was fully incorporated. It's the same process with all of the batter. I don't really know what to say during this process, but I just thought it would be really fun to watch. Shooting these eagle eye technique videos makes me feel like one of those professional BuzzFeed videos, you know, where they're making something with bacon and cheese. Why does all those videos have bacon and cheese in it? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Placed all of my batter into baking um, and actually bought this at the 99 cent store. I bought seven of these because they were so cheap. Now you're gonna bake these in the oven at whatever time it says on your recipe or on the box. But you know I use the box, you guys. Then I'm going to take it out, make sure that it cools, and then level it off with my cake leveler. Now I want all of the cakes to be five inches wide, so I created a template using a piece of cardboard and just cut out the perfect shape using a serrated knife. Just repeat this process with all of the cakes. If you guys can tell the green layer that's in the middle, God, it was giving me such a hard time. If this cake layer was a person, we wouldn't be friends. Now just like our cake batter, I'm going to do the exact same thing with our icing and create eight different colors. All the colors except for white are gonna be used on the outside, but I really want white in between each layer of cake. I just think it looks cute. That's all. So I have my cake board, I placed my D on top, and now I can start building my rainbow. So the first layer is red. There's several of these cakes I actually cut in half so that they can go on both sides of the rainbow. Placed it right up against the D and just added a layer of vanilla buttercream. Then I'm just gonna smoothen it out with my offset spatula and then add on my next layer of cake. And just repeated that process with orange, yellow, and then green. And if you tell like the green is like falling apart, I don't know why, this guy like didn't wanna cooperate. Green is actually the last layer that will be affected by the D. And there was some space I needed to fill in at the top, and I just filled it in using some green cake scraps. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I just filled it in using some green cake scraps. Then I added a layer of buttercream, and then added on another layer of cake. With a baby blue cake, I really regret not cutting off the bottom because you can, oh gosh, it looks gross. Then more buttercream, the blue layer, and then finally the purple layer. Once you've got all the layers on the cake, you can start carving it. I'm just using the bend of the D as a guide to carve this cake to make sure that it's the same width all the way through. And I'm just going to carve the cake until all of the edges are rounded. And this green layer is like falling apart, gosh. He's like the guy that I wish I hadn't invited to the party. And once I cleaned up my cake board, I covered the entire cake with a crumb coat. This makes sure that all of the crumbs stay on this layer of buttercream. 
After I finished that, I placed my cake into the fridge for about two hours and I was watching this documentary called The Keepers on Netflix. Holy moly, crazy stuff, you guys, is happening in Baltimore. Now, after I finished watching two episodes, I took my cake out of the fridge and I started adding a decorative layer. Because we're creating a rainbow, we're doing a lot of color blocking. Really don't want this to be flat, so I'm using a lot of different tips to make sure that each color has a lot of texture. I'm even adding in some six slits and some pearl sprinkles. Now they're not the exact same shade of color as the buttercream, which gives this piece a lot more depth because you have the colors within the colors. Once you've finished your first layer, you can repeat that process with the other colors. So next we have the blue, then the baby blue, the green. Who invited that guy? Then the yellow. Oh, I like that yellow. I could hang with that yellow. And then the orange. Now for the orange, I actually couldn't find orange six slits or pearl sprinkles. So I'm just using a lighter shade of orange buttercream to make sure that there is that variation of color within that line. Then we're gonna finish it off with the red. Now when I finished this, I actually didn't think that there was enough texture. So I took a very large tip and then very sparingly just added some large stars to each color. I even added some gumballs to the red because there was a lot more space there than the other lines. Now I didn't want this rainbow to just be sitting on a cake board, that's crap. So I covered the entire bottom of the cake with coconut shavings. You guys know I love coconut. And then I cut some marshmallows in half diagonally because I thought they would look pretty. I added some white gumballs and voila, our rainbow is done. If you bake a second cake, you can create a double rainbow, you guys. Mind blown. Now, if you follow me on Instagram or if you hit that notification button and follow me in the community tab, then you know that I I kind of have mixed feelings about this cake. I feel like I need to clarify. I think it's a stunning rainbow cake and I haven't really seen any rainbow cakes that you can actually see through the other side of the rainbow. Like if this was at a party and you saw a hottie on the other side, <laughs> but instead you just get this creepy guy. I don't think that it's as stylized as I imagined it to be, which is kind of why I feel underwhelmed. I'm like a Debbie Downer, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> However, this rainbow represents so much more than my underachievement. It represents diversity, acceptance, pride, because no matter who you are, where you come from, what walk of life you walk through, <laughs> you're not alone. I am not just a me, I'm also a we. And we, we march with pride. I got you, homie. Now I'm curious, what is something you take pride in? Your work, hobbies, education, family life? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure you check out all of my rainbow treats and cakes. I still have a boatload of ideas coming your way. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you, I love you, I love you. I will see you very soon. Bye.